Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the Hardcore Mode series and last time we managed to get ourselves up to level 10, get a few perk and skill points and also unlock the 7mm Magnum and that is a huge accomplishment in a series like this because that alone is going to make it so we can take down animals quite a bit easier. But before we head out to take anything down, we do need to reset the time. Uh, real quickly, let's toss the rules up to give you guys a refresher of the rules of this series. And also, while we're at it, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with your favorite part of the series, some things you think that should be changed, or just your overall uh, enjoyment level of this series. But with that being said, let's jump straight into this and get the time set to probably 5.30 I'd say or actually no let's do let's do 6.30 and I completely forgot last episode we didn't have enough money uh one second let's go kill something real quickly well apparently pronghorn drink this late I didn't know they had a 19.30 drink time that's pretty insane honestly um, I don't think we have the 7mm on us at the moment, so let's just take a shot with the 6.5. I hope that was good enough. It's honestly so hard to tell with it being so dark. Just to be sure, we will put one into that elk. And that one too. Uh, one of those had to have been a kill. So we didn't kill any of those at the other lake, so I decided to come over here to a little bit easier spot to take one out. It's extremely dark, so I can barely see anything, but... 7mm should be able to do the trick even when we can only partially see this thing, and yeah, it dropped it on the spot. So let's go grab that, and then we can actually change the time. And there we go, we now have 1160 cash, which means we can finally change the time. And we're going to be doing it from a tent because it actually costs less to do it from a tent than it would the lodge. So let's go ahead and get this back to 6.30 like we were about to originally. There we go. Now we can actually see, finally. And I think our next goal is probably going to be to try and level up a little bit more and get some more cash built up so we can start getting stuff like collars. And I do want to save up money for the range finding binoculars when we unlock those. I think they're pretty far down the road, but we still need to be thinking about saving money up for some of the future purchases. Oh my gosh, hello there. I mean, if it's going to run in front of us, we might as well take it down. I think it's actually still alive. Okay, maybe not. Sometimes when they're on a hill, they kind of just slide, but this one actually did die immediately, so it's actually really nice to see that the 7mm drops them on the spot with a single lung when using the soft points. That's actually really, really nice, so maybe we're going to be using the 7mm quite a bit more than other guns, at least until we get up to stuff like probably the M1 or the 303. I'm curious how the 303 is going to do. We have finally made it to this next uh, lookout point, so let's go ahead and unlock this and that'll reveal the outpost right below us along with I think a couple others in the area and we're going to try and get to both of them today. Uh, I want to unlock as much of the map as we can and actually, yeah, this reveals these two so we can finally get this one and we can also go down and get this one which means we can move that tent right there. I think another thing actually that we could work towards is probably getting some more tripod stands. Those are going to be pretty important for this series too, especially since tripods are a huge component in grinding cash quickly. With the amount of hunting pressure that you create by shooting a lot of animals, it's nice to have those stands so you don't delete your zones. So we're probably going to try and earn some money to buy a few more of them. And I think honestly what we're going to do in this series, I know uh, a lot of you guys wanted me to just do a different map every episode, but I think the smart way to do this when it comes to just getting our character leveled up and all of our gear acquired is probably to stick to one map, get a bunch of good tripod and tent setups going, and then use that to our advantage to make money. And unfortunately I wasn't fast enough to get that other one, but we did get that little guy down. And we can finally reload while we're running because of that perk that we got in the last episode. 
So that's also super nice. There is this little mountain goat right here. And there's a few more of them out here, so we're probably going to try and get a shot on at least one. I don't know how this is going to go, though. This is a very long shot. And we can't use zeroing, so we're just going to have to guess, I guess. And, yeah, that did the trick, so that's another mountain goat down. And this one's actually not spooked either, so... Take that one down as well. Oh my gosh, I looked away from my monitor for like two seconds to look down at my phone to check a couple comments and I almost died there. That would have been very unfortunate, but we did survive and we now have this outpost unlocked. So I guess that means we can use this lake for our mountain goat grinding now too. And this is actually one of the better ones, so that is huge. Here is one of the mountain goats. And the other one is just down here. Let's get our dog chasing after it so we can get a little bit of XP for her because we definitely want to level her up as high as we can. It's going to be huge in tracking wounded animals. There is still some mountain lions down at this lake, so we're going to take out a couple of them. The 7mm is going to make this so much easier to drop them on the spot. Provided we actually hit that shot. I'm not 100% sure if we did. We were starting to run out of breath. But it looks like we definitely got it, and that is interesting. Should have got that one too, I believe. Uh, maybe? And our, our hello there? Can you not just? That would be great. There. That should bring it down, even if it wasn't vitals. Soft points are not the best for frontal shots, so I'm not 100% sure how well that actually did on the first or the second shot. We do have a couple bighorn out there. We might try to take one down. And yeah, we're definitely going to have to put another shot into this one. There we go. Finally took it out. And we're out of ammo for the 7mm, so I guess it's time to go back and buy some more now that we have a little bit of cash. And that's going to make our lives so much easier having a good stockpile of it. Ooh, 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 there we go. That is an albino right there. And then we got a bunch of other ones here too. Uh, we're going to set up a stand after we take down that albino. And I'm going to try and take out as many of these as we can. That is a lot of cash right there. The females aren't worth as much as the males, unfortunately. But it's still like 700 to 1300 cash. I mean... Look at that, 1300 for this one right here. As long as we get full score, they are amazing for it. Actually, second look at that, that could be gray. The sun is shifting a little bit and it's starting to look a little more gray. Um, I mean, we're going to take it out regardless, but... It doesn't look as albino as I initially thought. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely more gray than anything else. But just in case... Let's toss a round down range and hope that we get a good shot. I might have to aim a little bit high. I'm not sure. That looks good to me. Oh, it definitely was not good. Guess we will put one more in it. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that is definitely a gray one. Definitely is a gray. And you know, I got to thinking, it's honestly insane how much of a difference a good scope is making for us. We've been able to take things down a lot more efficiently and from farther ranges than we could with the other scope. So it honestly is just huge being able to have a better scope. And we did save it, thankfully. We got right lung on, or left lung on the second shot. That's been our best thing as of now. And that is uh, quite the face. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, not going to tax that or anything, but let's go ahead and put in our perk point because we did just get one. What do we want to go for? We could go for breath control or we could go for the first level of steady hands or we could probably start working on some other stuff too. I do eventually want to get to recoil management. That's going to be a big one. So is fast shouldering and uh, body control. Those are both going to be pretty good. Uh, do we have anything in here? 
Um, move and shoot is going to be a good one. That's going to be really good, actually. But I think for this one, let's just get steady hands so we'll have a little bit less wobble. All right, we now have 70 rounds of 7 mil. That is going to last us quite a while. And it's going to make our lives relatively easier, I would imagine. Just being able to take down pretty much any animal, provided we can get a good angle, is going to be huge. And the 7mm is going to allow us to do that. Uh, we need to... Okay, we already equipped that, actually. We need to take this stand down here. Because this is a really good spot for mountain lions, uh, mountain goat, bighorn sheep, turkey, you name it. It's probably around this lake. So this is going to be a key point of the map in getting a lot of cash. So we definitely want to get a stand down here so we can maintain our zones. And I think this is probably going to be a good place to set this down. Uh, provided our dog stays out of our way. There we go. So we'll just keep that right there. We can see pretty much the entire lake from here which is pretty nice. Now it's about to be, actually, it already is pronghorn drink time. So let's go down over here and probably head to this lake again. There is something that we didn't get last episode that I spotted when I was doing the initial intro, that little kill montage, grinding up some cash. I did see a piebald pronghorn and it looked to be a pretty decent one. So I think we'll go chase that down now. I don't know where its drink zone is because I caught it as it was leaving its feed zone. But there should be one over here. Hopefully it's uh, close at least. For all I know it could be at a completely different lake but I would imagine it's going to be over here since it was in this area. There he is. There is that giant piebald pronghorn. It took me a little bit of time to find him because I didn't know what side of the lake he was going to be on. And he just happened to be one of the last ones that came to the zone so I'm guessing it probably has an 830 zone. But it's a really big piebald. We 100% have to get that thing down. And we are going to taxidermize it even if we're low on cash because that is a really nice piebald. I find piebalds decently often but not really that big. Most of them are pretty small when I find them so that's actually a pretty cool one to see. And it will be only the second rare that we have taken since we started the hardcore account. And it's a pretty big one. A very good looking pronghorn. Now, let's see if we can get a shot lined up on this guy. He's kind of tucked away. Here we go. This should be it. There we go. We got him down. What a beast of a piebald pronghorn. Now, if we can, we'll try to get that guy too. And it was a hit. I don't know if it was a lung shot though. I'm guessing since he's still alive, it probably wasn't. But hopefully he'll eventually die. That's actually a pretty good size level 4. We definitely want to get him down for respawns. And hopefully a diamond respawn in the future. Take that guy down on the way over here. Here's the one that we just smoked. 76 scoring level 3. And the piebald should be just over here. Yeah, there he is. That is a beautiful pronghorn. What an awesome looking pronghorn. Let's get a quick picture of this guy. And now, let's go ahead and claim him. 80.40. That's a good one. 4,000 to taxidermize him, but it'll be worth it. He's going to look great in the lodge. He'll go good next to our leucistic pronghorn. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not only are we making good progress in our account with our leveling and uh, getting our skills and perks, but we're also doing pretty decent on rares. We've got two of them in three episodes, which is not bad at all considering we haven't even really been focused on grinding for diamonds or rares. It's all just been trying to level up. And now that we finally have this uh, outpost revealed from this lookout tower over here, we can now remove the tent like I already have and claim this outpost. Now we can try to find a place where we can put this other tent. I probably want to get a tent in a mule deer area. I don't know what good mule deer area we could do though. Actually, I know exactly where we're going to put it. We're going to save one tent for this lake. For those of you that don't know, this is one of the best mule deer, mountain lion, and bear lakes on the entire map. It's just phenomenal. We have one level 3 mountain goat coming into this zone. There's a few of them that are still feeding. There should be quite a few more coming in to drink soon. But until those ones get here, 
Let's get that guy down, and then I think we're gonna try and snipe a few of the ones that are clear up top here. That should be all of the mountain goats. We actually missed a decent bit of shots on some of those farther ones. Uh, they were kind of at weird angles on that, uh, I don't even know, cliff face, I guess that's what it would be considered. And man, it was just not easy to hit some of those shots. And then some of them we had to hit two or three times, but we did get them all down in the end. Uh, we're gonna have to loop around to get that guy up there, and honestly, I might just leave him. I don't think it's worth wasting the time of running over to get him after we've had to claim these already. I probably could have looped the other way and then dropped down, but too late now, so let's just go claim all of these. They should be pretty close together. There's this guy right here. He's actually just about to fall down there, so I had to be careful grabbing it, but I think I figured out the fastest way to be able to claim that guy also. We're just going to loop around the top here, grab him, and then drop down. Should make it so we can get all of them in a reasonable amount of time. Ooh, there's actually a mountain goat right there and about halfway through running across here I just realized a slight problem. I don't have medkits yet, so I can't do what I wanted to So instead we're just gonna take that guy down and then go back where we were This is just this is just taking way longer than I thought it would and way longer than it should so There's a few more and actually that's a good goat right there. Wow. That's only a three That's a big for a three and unfortunately, there's no way we can get steady, and he's kind of in the trees, so we might need to wait for him to turn. There we go. There is one, two, three, four, and I believe five is the last one. So that is a decent amount of cash. We're back up to almost 8,000. There's actually a bunch of them over there, too. But we're going to leave them for now because I don't have a stand over here. Well, uh, this is interesting. Was on my way down to that next lookout and just happened to come across this little guy. So, yeah. Free bonus cash, I guess. And some more, apparently. That's one down. That is a Tom over there. Let's hope it's not a diamond one. Because we are taking him down, and there's so many of them. Oh my gosh. This is going to be really good cash if we can just uh, take out multiple. I think that should have hit. I couldn't imagine that being a miss. And there's another one right there. That definitely hit that one. Oh my gosh. Holy, there's just turkeys everywhere. <laughs> oh my, another one. No, 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 get back here. Well, that's just turkey after turkey after turkey after turkey. <laughs> I don't even know what to think of that, but I mean, that is a lot of money. So, can't really complain. There is one of them. And, oh my gosh, these, these poor things. They're just getting absolutely destroyed. And we actually leveled up from that. So, let's see what uh, perk we can toss on. Or at least I think it's a perk. No, it's actually a skill point that we got. So, let's see what we got as options. We could do more into spotting. But I think we should probably work towards these perks over here. So, we will do... Uh, the other one of I'm only happy when it rains. There is another one of the turkeys, then we have a couple more over here. I think that it's actually two side by side, so let's grab both of these. Actually, there might be... Actually, no, that was just one there. I think there's a couple more up here, and then maybe one or two more behind us. We'll find them all eventually. Yeah, here we go. Here is that Tom. 430 level 2. There was a couple hens up here that we shot at. I don't know if either of them died, but 
if they're up here, we'll probably have our dog find them. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Wherever Jess went. There she is. <laughs> Let's see if she can find it. She actually already found it. Perfect. So I think that's pretty much all of them. Minus maybe one or two. There we go. I think we have officially found them all. And that was actually a double lung shot on a turkey. One of the few times you can actually do that since the 22 is pretty weak. Alright, before we grab this outpost, let's real quickly toss up a tent right here. Just in case we end up falling off and dying for some reason. Because uh, that's already happened once or twice in this series. I definitely don't want it to happen again after we've traveled like two kilometers. That would be quite unfortunate. So let's see what we can see from up here. Because you can usually see clear down to the water. And it is 1030, so there might be a few straggler mule deer. I don't see any as of now, but it was worth a look. We're going to run down to that outpost down here. Can't really see it from this spot, but it's kind of behind those trees. We're going to head down there next and unlock that. We did also finally get some med kits. I actually don't know when we unlocked them or if they even needed to be unlocked in the first place, but we did get them. So now we can carry them with us. That way we can actually jump off of cliffs like this, which is going to speed things up quite a bit in getting down. Uh, this one's a little bit risky to do it on though, so I'm probably going to go down this side where it's a little bit shorter and then uh, drop down a second drop off. I think that'll make things a little more reliable and not quite as risky. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see how this goes. Actually, it went pretty well, surprisingly. Now time for the second one. This one's a little bit more risky. <sighs> there we go, we survived it. Two steps closer to getting that next outpost. Oh, hello there. That is a bighorn sheep. Don't know if we'll be able to get it or not. Well, thankfully it stopped, so we were able to. We're just about to be at that outpost. But I figured that since there was a couple bighorn through here, we might as well try and take out one or two of them as they run by. I'm actually starting to wonder if we even hit that shot. I thought we did, but... Oh. Well, we definitely did. It just wasn't good. Oh my gosh. Hello there. There we go. Got a shot into him again. I think this is the one that we had hit. Yeah. Definitely was, so we managed to get a second chance on him. And there's a bear now, too. There we go. Should do pretty good on that. And yeah, it just buckled right in front of us. Liver and intestines. Wow. That kills them so fast with soft points. I'm actually kind of impressed. Soft points might not be all that bad. Provided you can get into a lung, it seems like it kills them maybe quicker than the polytips do. At least on that bear it did. Here we go. We got to the outpost. Now, I think we're probably going to go ahead and leave the episode here. We leveled up a couple times, uh, got a decent amount of animals down, got our first piebald pronghorn, and overall it's been going pretty good. We're starting to really do well on this account. Let's real quickly take a look at our codex and... Just kind of show off the stats for a little bit. We have level 12 about to be level 13, like 2k XP away from it. We do have almost 4,000 rifle score, which means we're halfway to being able to use the DLC rifles. We also have 99 total harvest, 16 gold, 37 silver, 33 bronze. Uh, we've scared a lot of animals already, so yeah. That's uh, pretty typical, honestly. Shots fired, 166, 141 hits, 25 misses, 85% accuracy overall. 343 meters on our longest shot. Not bad at all. Here we are in the lodge. We can finally place down this piebald pronghorn right across from its leucistic brother. But... We're going to go ahead and end it there now that we have this guy down. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with some video ideas, some ideas for this series, some things you would change, some things you would add into this, and what you guys think the next map is going to be because there's a lot of rumors of a lot of different possibilities for the next map in Call of the Wild, uh, Africa, 
Mexico, Asia. I've honestly heard quite a few others too, but those are the main three that people seem to think. So let me know what you guys think about that. What's the next map going to be? But with all that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!